Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. I was checking my stats in the subscreen to see that I had fed every animal I could feed so far. And uh, I missed one in Chinchu Field, at least. Uh, also, I think, okay, we got the deer here. Actually is not what I'm looking for. Oh, I can't, I can't feed them, they've already been fed. All right, and that, that's one sparrow. There's two sparrows in this field, two groups of sparrows, and one's over here, and the other is uh, is right. It should be right near this guy. And if I got them both, then I've got. To, I'm gonna have to backtrack for them later. All right. I, um, and this, the thing I missed in Shinshu Field is not that huge a deal. I mean, we're gonna go get it, but. Okay. Haven't really walked that area just yet. Uh, okay, so if the. I didn't miss. I must have dug this up. This is the one I was. The one I was looking for is right here. And it should have been a Traveler's Charm, and I think I... Oh, no, it should have been... Uh, you know what? I looked up the wrong one, I think. But where are these birds? These stupid birds. This is uh, too far, I think, actually. They should be... Oh, maybe down here. They should be in this area. No, monkeys, that's not what I'm looking for. Monkeys aren't birds. Yeah, I know that this is tedious and stuff. But it, it's not gonna be easier later, is my assumption. I also think I might have missed a deer and got an extra different deer. But that's far harder to prove. I mean, if I found another another set of deer, that would work. But I could be like, oh, well, I've exceeded the amount I'm supposed to have. The nightingales over here are not, the, that's not the same. Nightingales are not sparrows. Monkeys are not dogs. Yeah, it should, they should be right, right in here, I would think, or I thought. Shows what I know about anything. Oh, there they are. Nice. So that's that. Now what I would like to do is, well, let's let's just see. That's the percentage I need. So that's good. We got those. Now it's time for a fishing mini game. Every game has a fishing mini game. All right. Oh, poor Ume. I wonder if he's okay. Oh, hello there, doggy. You are alone too. Uh, so, boy of the forest, uh, Kokari. This is my fishing pole. Actually, there's no fishing line or a hook on it right now. But there's a reason for that. Okay, well, tell me the reason.
So there we go. This this kit is our key to get get into this. And this is what the fortune teller told us to do. So his dog is locked in these ruins. If you know where he is, then why don't you go rescue him? This is no time to be fishing! Okay, so there's a reason for that. On his way home, he fell near the drop the key of the water. Okay, this kid's a crybaby. Give him a good headbutt, Hammy. Maybe that'll straighten him out. There we go. Yeah, you were the one who left your dog in those dangerous ruins. Now you gotta do whatever it takes to get him out. Or get the key and go help him. Fishing's all about attitude. Attitude! Fish, babes, or whatever. It all can be yours. Go ahead. Act like you're having fun. We'll watch. All right. Fishing minigame. We have to help this kid catch a fish and the key. Okay, people call it the deep abyss because they can't see the bottom. But that's not why these waters are famous. Legend has it a humongous fish swallowed the moon, reflected on the surface of the water. No one knows if the legend is true. But to this day, the moon never rises here in Agata Forest. Give the fairy tales a rest, will you, kid? They're so gloomy. Think more positive. Have fun, have fun! Okay, Abby. Let's use that celestial brush of yours to help him out. There should be some fishing line on his pole, but there's not. Well, just make so by drawing a line from the pole to fish. Okay. These are your instructions. And it can be a little weird. See, that did not work. Nor did that. Or that. Okay, fish. You you fish. That was horrible. I have a lot of trouble judging where I'm going with this. That should have worked. You know what? I'm going to try it all. You know, I'll just try it from here. No? See, I got the first two rounds so easily... In my practice file, either the third round was just bad. All right, you know what, kid? Quit space it out, furball. Yeah, there's some hot zone for this stuff, and I'm assuming it. Maybe we have to go from the fishing rod to the fish. No? Ah, that did it! Oh, I forgot to slash it. Darn. You have to power slash the fish once it's out of the water. It's not really a fish. It's like a lobster, crab, crayfish thing or something. 
There we go. Crawfish. Yes. Okay. All right. You did, kid. You got a bite. These are not fish. These are crabs and crayfish and stuff. So, river crab. All right. There's our third one. And there it is! We caught a giant salmon! Wow, that's a big one! It is! So there's our key. Now I can go save Ube over at the ruins. There we go. So the kid will come after you. Um, and take the key if he can. He won't go to the ruins with it, but... So there you go. But it will paint him a little, and we're in good shape. We've just got to get to the door now. Ah, that, that demon scroll was coming at us. Ah, crap. All right. Now we're not going in. I'm just opening it up so we don't have to go back to the kid and get the key again. And we're actually gonna go back to Shinshu Field and feed those pigs I missed. And then maybe go back and see if we can get the other fruit from the guardian sapling. There could be a fabulous treasure hoard hidden in here, hee <laughs> hee. But enough talk. All right, so. What is the easiest way to get to Shinshu Field? Oh, it's certainly not this. We might have to go the way we came. Oh, I should do this, really. Does that at least get rid of some of the demon scrolls? See? And I know it wasn't that wooden ramp. The, the ramp leads to the water area that where the bridge is out that uh, Susanna was talking about. So this is the way to get back. Oh, no, it's not. This is just a nice little... Oh, yeah, it is. It's right here. Well, we don't have a ton of time, but uh, I suppose... What I'll do is I'll just go take care of feeding these animals and then uh, we'll go hit the mirror in the village. Well, if we go all the way back to the village, though, we might as well.
Because it's actually a pretty pretty straight shot. So we fed those, but there are pigs over by the horses here. There we go. Okay. So they eat seeds. And that's all we've missed. That's all that's, I think that's all that's possible at this point. Right, and this, and this is the way back to the village, so. We're actually in really good shape to to get up and cut down the next fruit if it's there. I don't know that it will be. Like I said, I haven't I haven't done this in my practice file, but it would be nice to get that done. Especially if we get a good run going, so like we can really we'll really be moving. Far easier than tying up loose ends when we come back, and I don't remember what we did. Alright! And there is another fruit! I have no idea what this is gonna be. Crystal. All right, so now it's time to get out of dodge. And by get out of dodge, I mean just get back to an origin mirror so we can uh, we can continue next time after I've practiced some stuff because we're tied with my practice file at this point. Which means I've got to go into those ruins. This is a hard game to practice. There's a lot of stuff to do, and I have to get all the treasures. Because otherwise I won't know where they are. I have zero point of reference. So, um, When we come back, more of this. Bye, everybody.